All right, you guys, my Facebook page has recently been blowing up saying, Jeff, you got to make this. I mean, stuff just popping up all over my page. So let's go ahead and make some swine apple, pineapple and swine. Well, welcome back to Smoke, Smoke Meat with Jeff. Today we are going to make swine apple. We are going to take some uh, uh, center cut pork loin, stuff it into a pineapple, wrap it in bacon, and then smoke this bad boy for a few hours until we have our finished product, swine apple. So uh, let's get started on some of the basic ingredients you're going to need today. At the core of the swine apple, you're going to need, of course, some pork. I am going to be going with some uh, center cut pork loin uh, that I'm going to cut into strips and then we are going to season with uh, whatever your, spe your, your favorite seasoning is. I'm going to be going with my sweet and spicy today. And then all of this is going to get stuffed inside of a hollowed out pineapple. I'll show you how to hollow this thing out in a little bit. And then in the end we're going to take some thick cut bacon. I'm going to make a bacon weave and this will be draped over uh, our pineapple that we're going to smoke sideways because my smoker is not tall enough to uh, uh, smoke it upright. So we're going to smoke it sideways draped in a bacon weave. Uh, so that's basically it for your food ingredients, but you will need a couple of uh, extra supplies as far as non-food ingredients to make this happen. So you're going to need uh, some long skewers uh, or some very long toothpicks. You're going to need a bowl. This makes it easier for seasoning your meat and uh, some implements for hollowing out uh, your pineapple. I got a long knife, a short knife, uh, a spoon, and then if, uh, if I need to, I'll go in, in the house and get like an ice cream scoop for, for hollowing this thing out. And of course, you're gonna need some wax paper. We're gonna use this to lay our bacon weave out on to make it a little more portable, portable because uh, we won't be rolling up the pineapple in the bacon weave. I'm going to kind of drape it over the top of it, lay it down and drape the, the bacon weave over the top um, right before we throw it onto the grill, which, uh, which means you need a way to get this thing to the grill and I highly recommend you go out and you get, if you don't have it already, you'll see this in a lot of my videos, it's called the Bradley Rack. Uh, makes it really easy for uh, taking whatever you're, you're putting onto your barbecue or smoker uh, portable. You just pop that on there, move it over, bring it back. As you can see in the background, I've got my, uh, my smoker going. Uh, we will be smoking at around 225 degrees today. Uh, this should take anywhere between four and six hours, depending on how well regulated you can keep your, uh, uh, your smoker. Um, and then it'll be time to yank it off, slice it up, and have some uh, uh, swine apple. So uh, let's start doing some of the prep work. Well, admittedly, the hardest part about this process is uh, prepping your pineapple. So what you want to do is you want to take a pineapple, go down a couple of inches and just slop the top off like so. Uh, and then you're going to grab your, your knife and your spoon and whatever else, what other uh, implements you need to hollow this out. And you're going to end up with a, a bowl of leftover uh, pineapple here that you can eat. Save the juice because we're going to use that a little bit later on. But you're going to want to hollow it out leaving uh, about three quarters of an inch uh, all the way around like so and get as deep as you can, like so. Uh, and after you've got that thing hollowed out, you're actually gonna take it and just kind of peel off the skin on the outside. That's why you wanna leave a pretty good, you know, at least three quarters of an inch on the inside so when you go to take this off, uh, you don't end up cutting through the side of your, your pineapple. So I'm gonna finish this up around the outside and our pineapple, basically a cup, and this would be perfect for a cocktail. Might have to do that with my second pineapple here. Uh, we'll get that all finished up and then we'll move on to prepping the meat. Now that is more like it. A nice summertime mojito in a pineapple soon to become a swine apple. So let's move to uh, prepping our meat. Uh, I went with a pork loin today, uh, like so. You wanna go with the center cut if you can. But you can use other cuts of meat. You could do the, uh, the boneless uh, uh, pork ribs or other pork chops, whatever you want to do. So 
uh, pretty much what you're going to want to do is take your hollowed out pineapple, grab your knife, go down to the bottom, kind of figure out how deep it is, and then cut your meat to that about that length. If you have any fat on your pork loin like I do down on this side, I'm going to go ahead and remove that. And at this point, you could take this whole thing, and if it'll fit in your pineapple, uh, just put it in all in one piece after you've rolled it in some spices. But I want to get some really good flavor throughout. So I'm going to take this, uh, after I get the, the fat off, and cut it into strips. Uh, probably get maybe three, four, I might even get five strips out of this. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and season that. So I'm going to work on removing the fat, cutting it into strips, and then uh, we'll move on to seasoning and, and packing our, uh, our pineapple. Perfect. Okay, at this point I got my uh, um, pork loin cut up into strips. Just go ahead and throw that in my bowl and start seasoning. And what you season this with and how heavily is completely up to you. The, uh, the pineapple juice is really going to tenderize this, uh, this meat while it's cooking and impart a lot of that flavor to it. But how much you want to season, do it however you want. And there we go, all seasoned, ready to go. And now it's just a matter of grabbing your, your pineapple and starting to stuff your pork strips inside. And you really want to pack them in there as best you can. Uh, as this cooks, the pineapple itself will become uh, soft and pliable as it tenderizes. And then the pork inside uh, will become uh, a little more solid as it, as it gets closer to being done. So you really want to pack it in there so your, your pork is inside like so. Now let's make our bacon weave and uh, get ready for uh, getting this on the smoker. I've got my smoker up to about 225 degrees right now. Uh, smoke with any type of wood you want. Uh, I do recommend you go with a sweeter wood like cherry or pecan uh, rather than an oak or a mesquite uh, just so that we can keep our pineapple nice and sweet. All right, bacon weave time. All right, so I got my bacon weave done. Make sure you use thick bacon on this because it's going to be on the smoker for quite a while and thin bacon is going to get too crisp too fast. Uh, so now it's just a matter of uh, let's put our top on our pineapple and if necessary you can actually scoop a little bit of this top out if you've uh, overstuffed your, your pineapple. So we're going to get that on there, grab our long toothpicks and you are going to secure this on as best you can. Just to hold that top in place. And then once you get a few of these on here, um, we are going to help you, we're going to use the, uh, the bacon weave to kind of hold the, the top in place. So we've got our, our little toothpicks in there. Go ahead and snap them off. Just don't forget that they're in there. So you can take them out before you uh, serve this up. All right, I got that one. And this one, I will probably do a couple more, but uh, now it's just a matter of gingerly getting your, um, your bacon weave draped over your pineapple. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this up to kind of hold it all in place. Grab a Bradley rack. Oops, grab the whole assembly, flip it over. Pull off our wax paper. And if you don't know how to do a bacon weave, uh, there's plenty of videos out there that'll show you how to do it. Uh, including over in my basic section, I, I show you how to do a bacon weave.
And there we go, we have our bacon weave, oops, draped over our swine apple. And now it's just a matter of putting this thing onto the smoker. Uh, after about the two hour mark, I'll be putting a, uh, um, a probe into it. Uh, we're shooting for a finished internal temperature, getting into the pork on the inside of 160 degrees at least. Uh, and then it'll be time to pull it off and, and slice it up. Now all that pineapple that we scooped out of our lovely drinks here, I saved that and I'm gonna press it, get as much pineapple juice out of, as I can out of it. And about every hour or so, I'm just gonna baste the outside of this with that pineapple juice to, to keep it moist. If you're running a, a larger smoker or uh, even a smaller smoker, make sure you have your water pans uh, full in there so that uh, we keep a nice moist smoking environment so that the outside doesn't get too crisp too fast. So uh, let's, just, let's get this thing on the smoker. Okay, we're a few hours in. Uh, let's take a look at what we've got uh, going on in here. Oh, that's looking good. Pineapple number one, pineapple number two. I have my little, uh, little jar of all my leftover pineapple sauce, so now it's just a matter of uh, do a little bit of basting. We're just going to sweeten things up with our pineapple sauce or pineapple juice here. So at this point, I'm going to grab my meat probe, my eye grill, and uh, insert that into the thickest part I can find. And then we will start monitoring. We are shooting for 160 degrees internal temperature for pulling this off the smoker and getting ready to eat. So uh, let's check back in a little bit. All right, didn't turn out quite as visually appealing as I had expected. The, uh, the internal temperature, we've hit 160 degrees for that, uh, the pork on the inside. But the, uh, as it's cooked, it looked like the bacon crisped, and then the, uh, the, the pineapple and everything else inside kind of expanded and kind of split apart some of our bacon weave, but we were after the flavor. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull off the cap of this thing, find all of the, uh, uh, the toothpicks, get them out of there, and then let's cut this thing open and see what we've got on the inside. All right, here we go. We got the cap off. We can yank off some of this bacon. Ah, have that on the side. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the bacon weave off of the, uh, the pineapple here. All right, so there's the, uh, the swine inside the pineapple. Let's take a look at what we've got here. Oh, that looks amazing. Take a look at that, uh, all that pork inside of our pineapple. Nice and tender. Smells amazing. I'm going to cut off a little piece here and see what, uh, what we got to work with. Ooh, that's hot. Oh, you can taste the pineapple. Oh, that's amazing. So this is uh, Jeff with uh, Smoked Meat with Jeff. Try mixing your fruit and your meats. Till next time.